Washington High School Principal of Instruction, Monica Pierce, and Parent Liaison, Christy Dillon. Good morning. How are you guys? Hello, good okay. morning. Well, before we do anything, we, we're we going to go to the shoe camp. <laughs> okay, we're going to go to the shoe camp. We actually had 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 to have you switch seats yeah. to go to the juke, shoe camp. <laughs> um, you are you are also a uh, sneakerhead like me. <laughs> I have become one. I wasn't one, and then I got a pair of, uh, oh, can you see them? Oh, yeah, there they go. Oh, nice. And they match perfectly. Yeah, I love the lows. I have the mids, and it's a bad habit it right is. now. It's a bad habit, but it it's is. a clean habit, it I say. It is. That's true. It is. I like that. I'm going to tell my husband there that. There you go. Clean habit. So we're excited. Uh, the ambassador auction is coming up. I love it for many reasons. Uh, one of the reasons is I get to see uh, the best and brightest at JPS, find out a little bit about them and then where they're going. Talk a little bit about uh, this year's uh, this year's top of the class. So we are excited, as we are every year, to highlight our valedictorians at this event. Um, we also highlight our students who have applied for corporate scholarships, so mm -hmm. they stand out amongst our students as well. Um, this is a wonderful time just to showcase them and to honor them for their academic success. And Christy, the, uh, I think you're the parent of the year, right? She is. Uh, every year. <laughs> Literally every year you are, I think. Uh, you're one of the organizers uh, of this event. Yep. Yep, yeah. one of the co-chairs, yes. You brought some uh, items that people can win. Yeah, so this year we, you know, talked about having some more pieces that are from our students, you know, oh, highlighting nice. some of those things at the um, auction. So these are pieces um, from art students that they've made um, some paper beads on this one and um, just some of the pieces that they're going to donate um, to the auction that uh, people will be able to bid on. That's cool. I know you have some fashion designers, jewelry designers, you have makers, a lot of very talented students. Yeah, we do. Pretty cool that uh, another way that they are uh, mm -hmm. being showcased. Yes, Absolutely. Zach Snyder is a, a graduate <coughs> of Jackson High School and he will also have a piece that will be uh, showcased at the auction. Yeah, we know him. Yeah. 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 Zach's, <laughs> Zach's been documenting the creation of his piece on social media. Mm -hmm. And it's funny, people are saying, oh, you should donate that to this <laughs> ambassador auction. And he and said, he is. it's already going. <laughs> <Yes. there." laughs> so this is the 37th yeah. annual. Um, you've, worked, you've worked at the, this auction just you poured into it. You yes. <laughs> tell us a little bit about uh, about the event. What makes it so special for you? Um, you know, I remember back when I was in high school, just mm -hmm. working at it, right, and being a part of it. And so I think it's just a great way to give back to students. Um, and uh, we have a lot of alumni that attend, a lot of alumni that support, whether they're corporate donors mm -hmm. um, that purchase tables or sponsors just um, for the event in general, and especially those corporate. Um, scholarship people we really wow. appreciate. Wow. Um, so we have 13 scholarships this year that are being offered for students and um, a, a range from you know um, all different you know LRO we mm -hmm. have some of our committed ones that have done uh, it every year and we have some additional ones we decided to add we talked as a committee um, and we decided to add a three new scholarships this year so we're doing an alumni one um, so you have to be a graduate within the past three years and so we really liked the idea of you know bringing back some of those mm -hmm. students and having them apply. Um, we are doing uh, a 13th year um, for the JCEC students because we've kind of gone back and forth. Like you know, are they eligible to apply for those other ones if mm -hmm. they're going directly to JC to mm -hmm. to do that? But then we had lots of families that were like, well, they still need that money, right? Eventually, if they go on to mm -hmm. uh, a big school. So we liked the idea of just having a category just for them. And then we also have an ambassador scholarship that we're excited about that really showcases for any student. You know, it doesn't have to be that 4.0 student. Mm -hmm. It can be anything that um, they have to submit a video and just really say why are they a good ambassador as a student yeah. to JPS. I had some highlights over the years. Uh, one was um, when they had the Parmesan wheel. Oh, yeah, making, that's everybody's favorite. Yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> and then. Uh, <laughs> The Hinkley uh, Donut Sundays. Yes, Those can't go good. wrong with Hinkley's. Yeah. Yeah. There was like a, uh, was there a Coney bar once or something? Oh, I think so, something like that, that. Yeah. yeah, that was good yeah. too. And we're also going to have Chef Brian. Um, he's one of the 
uh, Chef Council, Tahir Chef Council, um, chefs. He was recently here um, oh. at, at in Jackson a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago, and he's going to come back and be one of the guest chefs for Ambassador. Yeah, you had to get Tahir guest chef last year at this. Yes, mm -hmm. Brian Murphy. It was the yeah, oysters yeah. for me. The oysters oh. for me. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's it like for you as principal to uh, kind of see this night come together, highlighting? Um, you know your best and brightest but also uh the community leaders and alum who are who are helping out um with the scholarships yeah it's um for me it's it's very meaningful because we always love to do things where we bring our community together and this is an opportunity to showcase those folks in our community who support our students throughout the year and we just get to put them kind of on the spotlight to show everything that they do mm -hmm. and they just they love 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 this event so they can give back yeah. Our we see a lot of the, the same people every year, a lot mm -hmm. of the same corporate mm -hmm. sponsors, yeah. and uh, they're, they're for sure proud to be involved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and great prizes. Uh, you each have mm -hmm. uh, each school at JPS, they, all the teachers, they put together a basket representing their school. Yes. And I won one one year. Oh, yeah. You did? Yeah. yeah. I spend so much money on those baskets, <laughs> and I never, I'm going to win one this but year. But that's what we like to have, too, is those baskets, yes. right? So, right. so people who might not like the bidding or know yeah. they're going to get outbid, we like to have those options for everybody. So you feel like you're coming to the event, and hey, if you, all you mm -hmm. have to do is buy some raffle tickets, you have equal opportunity to try to yeah. win something. Yeah. So. We have a Michigan and a Lions basket oh, being cool. created this year by nice. one of the departments, so <laughs> you have to bid on that nice. if you're a U of M fan and a Lions fan. I will do that, yeah. yeah. As long as there's no uh, green and white. Sorry. Oh, no, that's me too. And no, I'm, I'm sorry. Mm, okay. I got that's two Christy there. Too. Well, I'll tell you what, I yeah. bet on it. I'll take the lion stuff and I'll gift you. No. <laughs> no. Are you going to make your uh, famous pound cakes this year? I am going to make the pound cakes. Everyone's always looking forward yeah. to those, so we might do four this year instead no. of two. Oh, you heard it here. Yeah. <laughs> And we really can't thank the Jacks community enough. Yeah. Like this event doesn't happen in any type of event like this without our community donating, mm -hmm. um, because then there's no cost to us for us to be able to put those items up for bid. And we advertise so you know, and it's online, but we still have the items in person for people to view that evening. Sure. So and it is uh, Friday, March eighth, five thirty to seven thirty. Five to seven thirty. Up five to seven thirty. Mm -hmm. Were you there uh, the year that our that one of our employees, Kurt? Won the 50 50. No. And everyone at our table said, don't need it back. And he didn't? And he said, no. Really? Yeah. Well, Remember, like, Brandon? Uh, yeah. Well, we, yeah. I, I will say that uh, we've, we've since made up for that with our, with our basket right. drawings. Yeah. For sure. yeah. My wife, uh, Jackson High alum, <laughs> she, she likes to buy those basket tickets. Yep. I love the baskets. We gotta make sure they get a basket. They gotta get a basket. Yeah, sure. We have to get a basket. <laughs> I'd like to just buy a basket. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thanks and, for having uh, us. We look yes. forward to uh, seeing you at the Ambassador Auction. Absolutely. Thank you. From JPS and the Ambassador Auction, Monica Pierce and Christy Dillon. We wrap up the show right after this.